This is the Soundcore Boom 2 portable speaker. 60 watts up to 80 watts of power. I want to say thanks to Soundcore for sponsoring this video, letting me check this out and give you guys a look at it. So let's get straight in to the video. Today we're going to talk about this. This is the Soundcore Boom 2 portable speaker. It's got lights on the side and all kinds of everything else. And is it possibly one of the best under $150 speakers that you can get for your 2024 spring and summer fun? Let's get into it now. Hey there, friends on YouTube. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is painfully honest tech. Tech so honest it hurts if this is your first time here. Hit the like, subscribe button so you can see more videos about the tech that you might want to check out. And uh, if you've been here before, thanks so much for coming back. What do we have here? We have the Soundcore Boom 2. Let's walk around the box and then take it out and see what it's all about. Uh, why am I rhyming? I don't, I don't know. So here we have the box. On the front, nice picture of the unit itself. It has PartyCast 2.0 features, as well as Base Up 2.0 technology, 80 watts of output. It floats, it floats, <laughs> 24 hours of playtime, and uh, IPX7 waterproof. And I'm gonna demonstrate some of the waterproof stuff uh, later on. It's actually pretty cool, so stay tuned for that. It is pretty fun. Walk around the box, you get to see the exploded version of the speaker, so you've got two tweeters and a subwoofer. So this is a 2.1 setup. Uh, in 60 watt mode, this is 10 watts and 10 watts and 40 watts. With base up technology turned on, you've got 15 watts, 15 watts, and 50 watts. So you get an extra 20 watts of actual power from the amp inside this thing when you turn on the base up technology. Go around the back, people on the beach, having fun. Uh, you can link, with the PartyCast 2.0, this is pretty cool, you can link to 100 plus speakers, uh, which is a lot of speakers, but you know, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, Built-in power bank, I'll show you that later on, and then LEDs on the side, 24 hour playtime. So let's get it out of the box and see what it's working with. go. We have a USB-C to USB-C charging cable. And then in the foam, the unit itself. So this is the Soundcore Boom 2. It is very compact. It is a nice looking speaker. It has a little bit of a gunmetal gray on the front here with the Soundcore logo. It is all ABS plastic, very solid integrated handle so you can carry it around with you anywhere it's a nice chunky handle with some uh with some finger grooves on there you have on the sides here we'll get into this but on the sides here you've got passive radiators that will help with the base if you're not familiar with passive radiator technology uh well it's not really technology at all basically a passive radiator is a speaker with no electronics going to it. It vibrates and creates sound sympathetically with what the speakers are doing. So it does, it does sort of like just push the bass out a little bit more, fill things out just a little bit more. It's a cool technology. It's been used in speakers for ages and ages and ages and ages. In fact, if you have a home theater system and you've got like tall uh, sort of tower speakers, it's quite possible that some of the speakers in your tower system uh, are passive radiators. Uh, you're, you know, it just depends on what you got. Anyway, passive radiator is a cool thing. It will fill out the sound quite a bit. And uh, Soundcore has always impressed me with their ability to squeeze a lot of good sound out of something that uh, most of their stuff is um, wildly less expensive <laughs> than, than other stuff on the market. So we'll see how that pans out here later on in the sound test. Stay tuned for that, because the sound test is, is very cool. Need a little bit more coffee. Painfully Honest Tech coffee mugs available down below the video in our carousel of goodies, as well as t-shirts and hoodies and all that kind of stuff. Uh, let's get back to this. Do a quick walk around of the whole machine. So here we have the top. We've got power, Bluetooth pairing, volume down, 
play, pause, volume up. This is uh, the button for the party uh, syncing, I'm, I'm pretty sure, although I, I haven't tried it. And then this is the bass up 2.0 button. Around the back, we have Soundcore. And then here, opening this up, we have the input for charging. That's where you would use this guy. And then we have the IQ technology uh, power bank. So you can charge your smartphone or anything else with this. And the nice thing about the plus the IQ plus technology is the IQ plus will will sense how much power your device can take and it will send only that amount of power. Now you do have to know that when using the IQ plus technology, you have to uh, recognize that the battery life will be affected by that. But it's nice to have a power bank uh, feature here so that you can go ahead and charge up your devices without having to carry around something extra. You've got, as we talked about before, the tweeter, the tweeter, the subwoofer. And with the base up 2.0 technology, what ends up happening is in its natural state, the amplifier in here is 60 watts. But when you press the base up button, it starts to kick out 80 watts instead of 60 watts. That's actual wattage from the amp and not just some kind of uh, some kind of DSP boosting. So let's go ahead and power it on because that way we'll be able to walk through some of the features. So that's how fast it connects to my phone. And uh, I, already, I have already sort of tested this out a little bit and got familiar with the features. We'll go over the app here in just a little bit. But before we do that, let's walk through how you put together, put up the base up features and then how you turn on the LED lighting, turn off the LED lighting, uh, and then we'll get into the app. So with base up, you press it one time and you get base up. You press it two times and you turn on or off the lighting feature. You press it two times, you turn it back on. You've got seven unique lighting effects that we'll look at in the app, and then you can customize the colors of those. Right now I have a rainbow going on here. As mentioned before, this is IPX7 waterproof, fully submersible, and it's floatable. It floats so you can just drop it in the pool and float it around, pretty cool. In terms of battery life, we've got 24 hour battery in here. Your mileage may vary. Uh, the 24 hours was rated in the Soundcore Labs, volume at 50%, uh, you know, not overusing any of the features. That was, it's just a baseline. So you may get 24 hours, you may get less depending on how loud you're listening, how many of the lights are going. Uh, with the base up feature, it might get a little bit less. So you just have to be aware that 24 hours is the max but you might get a little bit less. Still, 24 hours <laughs> is pretty good. If you use 24 hours in it in a day, that's a day. Now let's take a minute and look at the app that goes along with this guy. Open up the old iPhone here, Soundcore app. See here, we've got the Boom 2, Soundcore Support Center. So you've got volume up, volume down, play pause here as well. Here's where you turn on the bass up feature, which also turns on the lights. Uh, you can go into the EQ and you can look at Soundcore's presets. So they have Soundcore Signature, Voice, Treble Boost, and Balanced. Or, if you don't want to do that, you can go into Custom, and you've got a 9-band EQ here that you can go ahead and, and adjust. Uh, you can also turn it this way. Uh, apparently. So anyway, not only can you adjust all the sound features on here, you can also turn it off and then you can go into the settings and it has auto power off settings, uh, button brightness, as well as um, firmware and serial number, etc, etc, etc. But you can also go into the lighting section. You can adjust the, the uh, volume, <laughs> the brightness of the lighting. You can turn the lights on and off, like so. Light on, light off, light on. Uh, right now I have the rainbow color set. You can set it to flash whenever st stuff happens, or you can set it to the flame. The flame, I kinda like the flame. It's a nice and warm color. Uh, you've got energy, and you can choose the different colors that you want for all of these. So I could make it pink or green or orange, red, 
uh, but I like I like blue generally, so we'll stay with blue. You've got the wave, and again you can change what color your wave is. Uh, there's a burnt orange or a green, and it goes through all of these colors, so you can mix mix and match these colors as you want. Lightning, fireworks, pew, color flow. Back to the rainbow. I'm going to set it on flame, though, because I like the flame color. And that's basically what you get in the app. Pretty cool uh, app features that allow you to really customize this quite a bit. You also have the PartyCast 2.0 feature, which allows you to link this thing to over 100 different Soundcore units that also support PartyLink 2.0. So you get synchronized sound around the house, or you get synchronized sound at the party, wherever you are. Uh, and then it also has TWS pairing for stereo. So you can have two of these and get stereo and just sort of do like a double uh, in your eyes from Better Off Dead. Does anybody know what I'm talking about here? Anyway, okay. Anyway. <laughs> So now it's time to take a, take a little look at the bass up features. So I'm gonna go into my music studio. I'm gonna set up a stereo mic in front of this guy. I'm gonna test out the bass up feature by toggling it on and off as we go through a couple of copyright friendly songs and from Creator Mix, another great, uh, another great place where you can go to get copyright friendly songs if you are a creator who needs songs. I will put a link to Creator Mix down in the description below. Links to this guy will also be down in the, in the description below. And you get $10 off if you order through my link. So what do you think about that? We're also gonna demonstrate some of the fun features that uh, when you put when you put this thing in water, some fun things can happen. So we'll also check out that.
What do you think about the different situations that we have going on with this thing? Bass up feature, overall sound quality. I have to admit, my first impressions are, while I'm not a big bass head, the bass up technology on this didn't give me like an overwhelming thumping bass so much as it just really filled out the, uh, the overall sound with a little bit more extension to the lower end. That 80 watts as opposed to the 60 watts really does uh, give you a kick. And the passive radiators, as we were listening, also seem to really do a fantastic job of filling out the sound. Soundcore really knows what they're doing with these things. And again, I have not used the Soundcore product that didn't really deliver A, on the sound, and B, on the value. So I've been really impressed with the folks at Soundcore. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I want to thank Soundcore for sending this over, sponsoring a video so I could take a look at it, show it to you guys. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Links to all this stuff down there as well, as well as in the pinned comment. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Share this video out to places where you might want to share videos about this kind of audio related stuff. And uh, thanks so much for being here once again. My name's Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest, it hurts. Until the next time, I am out.